Good morning, welcome back. So today we're going to talk about the Fender Super Champ XD Single 10 that we uh, did on the show not that long ago. I just sold this to a guy in Reverb in California. He bought it for his daughter. So we're just gonna talk about it real quick and get this boxed up. He also had a question, so I'm gonna answer that and maybe it will answer a question for you guys as well. So I took all the Tolex off of this and I reupholstered it in this furniture grade uh, vintage cloth. So this is actually cloth that they would use to reupholster like vintage couches, chairs, and stuff like that. Uh, redid the Tolex on, or not the Tolex, yeah, the uh, grill cloth. And then we also put a Celestian cream back 10 in it. And I sewed all the seams on the uh, cloth there because this is a, a thicker cloth. So I wanted to make sure it stayed down. All this is glued on with the commercial glue that I use to put vinyl tops on 70 street rods and stuff. And I went and covered all the extra wood that was raw that they don't cover uh, from the factory. So also put uh, stainless steel staples in all around the edges just so the edges don't peel up. Um, they shouldn't because of the glue I used on it. But anyhow, this is going to be going to California today. So he also asked if he sent me his cabinet, could I recover it? Well, yes, I can. Uh, I've never really planned on trying to do that service just because of the logistics of it and everything. Um, there's a lot to consider, like the grill cloth. If you guys look on Reverb, a piece of grill cloth is gonna cost you anywhere from 30 to 50 bucks with about $13 shipping on average. And then the materials, you know, they really, they vary a lot. I don't even know where I put them all. So the cost of the materials, depending on what you get, that also varies too. Just for instance, this piece right here, I got probably enough to do another single 10 or a single 12, but this piece of material alone was 70 bucks. Um, this material here, like I did the Ultimate Chorus, uh, the FM212R, the Princeton Chorus 2x10, this kind of material usually runs anywhere from 25 to 30 bucks a yard. And it's a little easier to work with because it's thinner. This piece I just showed you is kind of more like a burlap in, as far as the construction. Here's another piece that's like this stuff here. Um, this is what I covered the Princeton Chorus 2x10 in. There's a little piece of that left. Uh, this was the FM212R, and this was the Ultimate Chorus 2x12. I can show you guys that real quick. So all those materials right there, these ones, they usually range, like I said, 25, 30 bucks a yard. Um, when you get into this furniture grade stuff, uh, you can be anywhere from 30 to 50, 70 bucks a yard. All depends on the seller and the kind of material it is. So, you know, the materials and all that, they, they vary. So the best way that I could say of doing a cabinet for somebody is you contact me through Reverb. We can talk about what type of cabinet you have, how big it is, and we could figure out what material you wanted and kind of go, go from there. And then you would have to ship it to me with a return shipping label. And then when, I got it done, I could slap your return shipping label on it and send it back to you. So that's about the only way that I can think of to actually do that service for you guys. Um, I never really planned on doing that. And once I'm done with the Super 60, I'm not gonna refurbish used amplifiers anymore. I'm only gonna buy brand new ones from Fender just because of a lot of times I gotta build boxes for them. You gotta source all the bubble wrap and the packing. Um, like the Super 60, the one that I am currently refurbishing now, you know, I gotta buy tubes for it. I gotta replace the speaker wire on it. Uh, two of the input jacks I gotta replace. That's a pain in the butt. And then you get into this problem here where you have garbage hardware so I've got all the corners here and stuff for that right now. I got the new handle, uh, the feet, and the straps that hold the 
amplifier chassis are still on the way. I will end up having to get a new reverb tank for it because again, when I refurbish it, I go through everything and make sure there's nothing broken in them and everything works properly. Also the speaker, I gotta buy another speaker for that because it's used in vintage, so I don't wanna throw an old junky speaker back in it. And the other nice thing about doing a brand new one out of the box is it's gonna have all its factory packing. It's going to be easy to put back in the box and then when somebody purchases it, they can register it and if something goes wrong with it, it's still under warranty. So after I get the Super 60 done, that will be my last used amplifier that I do on the show. Everything from now on will be brand new out of the box, strip it down, recover it, depending on what speakers are in it. I may or may not change the speakers because it'll be brand new. So anyways, um, I guess before I get that packed up, I'll just give you a quick shot of the other amplifiers that we've done so far. So there's the Sidekick Bass, uh, single 15. This also has the real expensive um, furniture upholstery on it. And this was a sealed back. So the piece of material on this actually goes all the way down around and under and then back up underneath the front of the, the grill cloth. And then I sewed all the seams on this too. And then some of these, you get a lot of waste um, because of the patterns. Like you see, I made this pattern match the side, kind of seamless. Um, and like on this ultimate chorus, the patterns on it, you gotta make it look like it should be there, not just piece kind of here. And you, you get what I'm saying, you can see the pattern on it. Whereas in something like that, it doesn't matter. You don't get as much waste when you're uh, cutting the materials. And then the other thing that I do, like let's take a look here. We got a ultimate chorus that hasn't been done. So that's what it looked like before I did it. And then that is what it looks like after I've done it. And then when we turn them around here, this is one of the extra things that I do. So if you see on the factory cabinet, the Tolex is just glued and it stops right here. And you get this cheap little Velcro with a couple staples blown in it. Now on mine, obviously I put stainless steel staples in the edge and then I take a piece of bamboo wood and I cover it with the material and then I blow a few more stainless staples in there to give it a nice finished edge. And then I take a webbing and I sew the material that I cover the amplifier with and I put stainless steel snaps in it, stainless steel snap studs into the cabinet. So I go a little extra mile on detail. I am going to make a reverb tank bag for this eventually because I have a little bit of that material left over. So just little things like that um, add up as well. So that's just a quick look at uh, a couple of the ones that I've done the uh, 2 by 10 Princeton Chorus is gone now, so I can't show you that one. So let's go ahead and get this boxed up for him so he can give it to his daughter. What are you doing? Get back up there. Go on. All right. Suit yourself. So anyways, this is one of the reasons that I don't want to continue doing this anymore because all the packing up oh, that's what I want to do all the packing materials a lot like I said a lot of times I got to build boxes um, a brand new amp out of the box it'd be a lot easier to put it back in just the way it came out but I'm putting this on here to keep it from chafing the material or getting a snag in it. And that's the other thing too to consider when you're having, uh, even if I don't do it, if you're having somebody do this service for you, if you're gonna pick a, a furniture material like this, it is a lot more plush and looks better. And it is nicer, but it's kind of like a sweater. If you're not careful with it, you can snag it Whereas in the other materials that I showed you, they're a lot smoother, a little more resilient. 
uh, but cloth is cloth, so if you're not careful with it, you can uh, damage it regardless, but that's just one of the things to consider when you get into these higher end cloths, you can snag them because it is got a texture to it. But I hope that answers your questions. Uh, the only way that I can really see of, of doing that is to contact me through Reverb and once we figure out what it is you have, the size of it, what kind of material you want, what kind of grill cloth you want, if there's any extra things you want done to it like hardware or anything like that. Um, and then once we figure all that out, then I could give you a price create a listing for that service and then uh, have you ship me the, the cabinet and uh, with the return shipping label. And then I would do it on the show. You guys could watch it being done and then I can send it back. And actually taking the chassis and the speaker out of the cabinet will save a ton of money on shipping. So that is a good idea if you want to have me do that because there's no point in taking the chance of damaging the chassis or the speaker in shipping. And again, if you guys ever have to sell an amplifier, especially a tube amp, make sure that you don't have anything inside of it that can come and bust your tubes uh, when you cover it with a bag or a plastic too it will also keep things from going in there if you want to leave your foot pedal in there some of them have straps and the cords have hold downs just pack a bunch of bubble wrap in there so if it does come loose it can't be a projectile and hit your tubes does have a brand new foot switch I'll show you real quick I didn't actually put it in the listing I forgot all about it I did end up adding it in the item description but I don't think I put a picture of the foot switch in there but that's another reason I want to do brand new amplifiers too because you got to source all that stuff like with this it was just the grill cloth the Tolex and the foot switch and the speaker. Uh, the rest of everything in, in it was in good shape. I didn't have to replace any input jacks or anything like that. So here is the power cord and then I got the single button fender foot switch for it. So there it is. And it even says fender on the cord over and over. But it's just little details like that that make a refurbished used amp uh, a lot nicer. Uh, taking the extra time when the, the hardware is extremely nasty like this stuff, you can't reuse it. The hardware on that was acceptable. Just make sure you have plenty of bubble wrap in the front. You don't want any uh, speaker damage. stuck in there.
packing slip. And I did on Saturday. I had done this video and packed it all up. And then I went to shut the camera off and it said, camera storage is full. And I couldn't figure out why it was saying that when I had just downloaded all the videos out of it. And come to find out, anytime you trash something or delete it, it went into a trash instead of just permanently deleting it. So I had a ton of 4K memory in my trash that was taking up all my camera space. So it took me a while to figure out what was going on, but I had to unpack this so I could do the video again. But while it was packed, I was able to weigh it and print my shipping label on my packing list. Wasn't a complete waste, but it's a bummer when you gotta do something over again like that. And then I got one more thing to remind you guys about before I end this video. I will go ahead and tape this up some more and put the shipping label on it after we end the video, but I just wanna remind you guys again, we're beyond the halfway point on the subscribers. When we hit a thousand subscribers, we're giving this amplifier away. Uh, as soon as I get done with the Super 60, we're gonna go ahead and start the second giveaway amp. So this used to look like this. Um, the, this is a brand new Eastman. This one was actually used. Um, I'm gonna cut the cabinet down just like I did on this one, change the grill cloth and Tolex. And we do have a little piece of the material left from the uh, XD Super Champ. So we're going to cover this one in that. And we're also going to be putting in the six inch Fender Mod speaker. So stay tuned for that. I'm not sure when this one will be given away yet. Like I said, we got to get to the thousand subscribers for this one. And this is done in the same Tolex that the ultimate chorus 2x12 is done. So basically what I'm doing is with little scraps, uh, giving you guys a part of the show of the amplifiers that have been done. Uh, I may try to find some better practice amps to keep giving away, but I do have a really big giveaway coming that will be announced. Uh, but first we got to get to that thousand subscribers. So uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to win that and there'll be a lot more coming. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this video and finish getting this taped up and my shipping label on it and get it to UPS so it can head to California today. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if there's something that you want me to do, like I said, just contact me through Reverb and I'll see what I can work out for you.